Hey guys, I'm Nick Meister, and welcome back to Let's Play Manhunt 2. You know, before I get started on this, uh, on this adventure of ours, uh, I like to give a, a quick recap of the storyline, since, uh, you know, last time I did a Let's Play, I didn't really pay very close attention to the story. Well, here's the, here's the story in a nutshell so far. We're playing as Danny Lamb, uh, a nerd in a psychiatric ward, uh, uh, this lady named Dr. White is forcing drugs on us, and of course we're just saying no, and, uh, we meet a guy, we, we're not sure who he is, we don't know his name, but he knows us, and he's helping us get out of the, the hospital, the, the Arkham Asylum, if you will, but he's also encouraging us to murder people in terrible, disgusting ways, so maybe he's not really, uh, such a good influence after all, but... Anyway, we escaped, and uh, here's what happens next. Okay, so that was my little intro. Just getting everyone up to speed, if they're not up to speed yet. Um, I'm going to try something a little different for this video. I know it's just the second video, and it's kind of early to mix things up. But basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the, uh, the interactive executions. Um... It was kind of a carryover from the Wii version of the game, I think. Only, I'm only going to be using the mouse. Um, still, uh, it's it's interesting to see. I gotta I gotta be honest. When I first I when I turned it on, I thought it was going to be lame, but it actually makes the executions a little more exciting. So let's get started. Keep moving. We haven't got much time. We have to get to the house. Wait a minute. I used to live around here. Not anymore, Danny, but there's something in that house we need. Something you left for yourself. We've got to be quick. This is the first place the project will look for us. Wait, how do you know all this? Danny, listen. It's a manhunt. Huh? There's the title. And won't stop until we're both dead. Come on. Let's go. Ghosts. Watchdogs. They got here fast. These guys are hilarious. Who they're the project's cleanup crew. Shit! What are we gonna do? Do? We're gonna do what they trained us to do. We're gonna kill them. All right, but before we kill them, we're gonna we're gonna do something new for Manhunt Two, which is uh, I don't know, hiding in the shadows, I guess. I'm snip you out. All right, on the PlayStation Two version, it's considerably harder because there's a a button combination that you have to hit, and I'm, I'm not really good at those, but for the PC version, you just have to keep your little dot in the mouse, in the, in the circle, I mean. Must be something big. I'll go All right, on! And here's the plastic bag, a, a weapon from the first game. It's, it's my favorite weapon. Well, maybe not my favorite, but uh, there we go, see? I shake the mouse to the left, shake the mouse to the left again. That's basically how it works. Um, I think it makes the executions look a little more visceral. Um, you know, it slows down, you get that little heartbeat thing going on. And here's a new weapon. Um, a, a glass bottle. So, I bet you can imagine what we'll be doing with that. And, uh, here's the game telling us that we can climb over things. I think I've already shown you that, but, well... The game is a little slow to introduce things. Um, I kind of feel like you need a lot of these tools very early on in the game if you want to play it the way I think the developers want you to play it. You know, sneaking around and killing people rather than, uh, you know, running around in circles and meleeing people. And, uh, yeah. Alright, and stab, 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 stab. Nice. You saw there at the nice one, Danny. Yeah, thanks. Nice. Thanks, buddy. Um, you saw there at the beginning, uh, I was shaking the mouse and nothing was happening. That's because the level 3 execution changed the way I was supposed to move the mouse. So that was a little confusing. Luxurious compartments. Huh. Kind of looks like a graveyard or something. Anyway, and here's the choking wire. It's another one of my favorites. Especially the level 3 uh, kill. I don't think we'll be seeing that 
this time, but well, we'll see it. We'll see it sometime soon, eventually. And uh, yeah, this place sure is a shithole, huh? All right. So uh, you can climb under things, but you can't crouch, huh? So I guess this neighborhood's seen better this days, is the place. huh? You left a drug in there that'll clear your head. What? Drugs? No, no, we don't want to do drugs. Drugs are bad. Ugh, I already explained that at the beginning when Dr. White tried to... Alright, so that door's locked, but before we get to that, let's pick up these. Another one of my favorite weapons. Uh, the shears, or the, the hedge clippers, or whatever they are. We made pretty good use of these uh, in the Hitman game series, didn't we? Okay, let's take that out. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. It's a great melee weapon too. So uh, let's let's break into here and head on inside. All right? Whoa! What the hell was that? Huh? Yeah, that was weird. What happened here? The project happened here. Search all the cabinets and trunks. Alright, so here's the part of the game that's still trying to be a horror game. What? Hey, there's a working TV in here. <laughs> I haven't seen TV in a while. Let's watch some TV. You will not remember anything before this moment. You will not remember us being here. Jesus, Whoa. my head. What the fuck? Huh. That was weird. So... Like I was saying before, this is the part of the game where it's still trying to be a horror game before it kind of throws all that shit out the window. And it does it with stealth, too. You'll, you'll be seeing that soon enough in the next few levels coming up. So, what we gotta do is we gotta check out three uh, containers on each floor. And, as you can tell, it's not gonna be in any of these. Danny, let's try the basement. Now, we can't ignore our friend here and go to the upstairs, and I think that'll actually help us find what we're looking for faster, but what's the fun in that, you know? We don't, we don't want to skip ahead. We want to see everything this, this, this place has to offer, you know? What's that noise? Huh. Yeah, whatever. No, nothing in there. Hmm... Where, oh, where could those drugs be? All right. There's a brick, but we already have a can, so we don't need the brick. Is there anything back here? No, nothing back here. And here we go. Nope, nothing in there. Well, let's, let's, let's climb through here. I, oh. oh, oh, God. Oh, uh, oh, sorry. I was, that, that part of the game always gives me flashbacks, you know, Mass Effect 3 and all that. Not here. Let's try upstairs in the bedrooms. Oh, you're just, you're just, you're just, you're just leading me on, aren't you, game? Aren't you, Manhunt, too? You, what? Who knocked that over? How did that happen? Creepy. Alright, um, so last but not least, we gotta go upstairs. And I'm sure all you guys saw that coming. I mean, come on. You know, uh, this section of the game adds, like, a whole, like, what? Huh. Alright. What? Am I going crazy? I don't know, Danny. Are you going crazy? I think I'm going crazy. I'm sure all of you have gone crazy by the end of the, the nice. next place. Oh. Now all we need is a syringe. Try the bathroom. Nice. So we, we found our drugs. But still, I'm hoping Danny's gonna, you know... Uh oh uh oh Grimmers? Benchak? Where are they? I've had enough of these amateurs. Sweep this place. Start at the basement, I'll search the bedrooms. So, sneaking up on these watchdogs is, in this house is kind of difficult. Um, I'm not sure why. Uh, there's just something about the AI in Manhunt 2. They like to turn around at random. And it's hard to tell what they can see and what they can't see. Um... One thing I do like about the Watch Dogs is that they're hilarious. You know, their their voice acting is hilarious. 
Um, there's one guy that's really professional and uptight, and there's another guy who's kind of like a roughneck. Mm, quiet. Too quiet. I have to deal with the situation before this story. Yeah, and they're very they're very uptight. These two guys are anyway. Um, that's one thing I I don't really like about Manhunt Two is that. All right, we gotta. Like I said before. Ow. All right, let's escape. So, the characters in Manhunt Two, at least the ones that you're killing, are somewhat likable. I mean, not all of them, of course, but some of them are. And that actually makes killing them not as much fun, you know, because the first Manhunt. All the characters are really disgusting, and when you rip their head off and beat them over the head with their own leg, it, you didn't feel bad about it because they're just such terrible people. But Manhunt 2, it's not like that. Um, it makes you feel bad Do about what you're doing. It's too late. And uh, that's not fun. You know, I mean. Ooh, he's dead. Got a lot of blood on your hands now, Danny. Anyway. Yeah, so sympathetic characters, not great when you're playing a murder simulator, you know? And uh, somehow, magically, he sees me, you know? Watch out, Danny. These assholes mean business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, shit. Ow. Wow, really? Okay, this is actually dangerous because we're in a corner getting our asses kicked. And, uh... Not like I used to be. Okay, I'll retrace my steps and see what I find. <laughs> Fucking dumbass. <laughs> You're gonna die. <laughs> yeah, chop his hand off. Yeah, there goes his fucking head. Yeah, nice. Um, so we... Now you got the hang of it. Uh-huh, yeah, thanks. Um, so we chopped his head off, and we can pick it up and throw it. Um, sorry to say I don't do it in this video. Maybe next time. Oh, shit. Let's see if we can stealth kill this guy. And somehow, he sees me in that dark shadow. I don't know how he did it. I guess, uh, I guess he was eating his carrots, huh? Eating his yummy carrots, getting that vitamin C. His eyes are like a cat's and a hawk's combined. Eagle cat eyes or something. I don't know. Okay. Nice. So we found a syringe. It's hopefully not dirty and filled with rabies. And, uh... Hello? What? What the fuck is going on? Oh, you came late to the party. Shit, another watchdog. Take him out. And he's gonna turn around for some reason. I don't know what he's looking at over there. I mean, he's just gonna do his stretches, I guess. Whatever. Time for another Finish jumping him. execution. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. One of my favorites. Alright, he's done for. Killed a lot of motherfuckers today, huh? All right. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh! No, Danny, come on, say no. No, drugs are bad. Go ahead. No. Oh, I knew this guy was a bad influence. What? Oh yeah. What? That's right. Leo. But we don't have time to reminisce. Getting out was just the beginning, Danny. The project can't let us live. They can buy a private army if they want to, Shit. and they will. Oh, that sounds bad. Why did I leave myself these? I don't know. Why did he leave us those things, whatever they are? Hey, we only got two style points. Uh, I don't think most of you watching this know the game very well, but if you know how it is you can get higher style points, I'd like to know. I mean, I think it has something to do with being detected or levels of executions or something. Uh, eh, actually, on second thought, who gives a fuck? Um, I'm Nick Meister. Uh, this is Manhunt 2, and I'll uh, see you next time. Goodbye.